Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the mechanism of SN2 reaction and most importantly how electrons move during this reaction. SN2 reactions are very important because they allow us to obtain a large range of compounds such as alcohol, ether, primary amine, and nitrile all starting from the same kind of compounds which is alkyl halides the principle is very simple the bromine in the methyl bromide which is called the living group will be replaced by the hydroxide which is called the entering group so we obtain alcohol from methyl bromide so now let's have a deeper look at the mechanism and understand how electrons move Hydroxide is rich in electron because it has many lone pairs of electron and a negative charge, so it is considered as a nucleophile. While carbon in alkyl halide is poor in electron because it has a partial positive charge on it, so it is considered as an electrophile. Nucleophilic compounds are attracted by electrophilic compounds, so one lone pair of electron of the hydroxide will attack the carbon to form a new bond. As we can notice, only one electron moves from the hydroxide to the carbon to create this new bond. But carbon has already four bonds, so in order to create a new one, another one should be broken, which is the one between the carbon and the bromine. At the transition state, the CH bonds are all in the same plane to allow the nucleophile to form its bond. As the nucleophile gets closer to the carbon, the leaving group, the bromine, moves further from it and leaves the molecule. The CH bonds continue to move in the same direction. Finally, the bond between the carbon and the nucleophile is fully formed and the bond between the carbon and the bromine is completely broken and the alcohol is formed. Let's see the mechanism once again. Now, let's see some notes concerning SN2 reaction. The carbon at which substitution occurs has inverted its configuration during the reaction. Only one substitution product is formed with inverted configuration. Of course, if the halogen atom is bonded to an asymmetric carbon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you benefited and enjoyed it. Subscribe to see my coming videos. In case you have any further questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to send me an email.